Tiny Hearties, I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Ah, that turbulent decade known as the 80s. Bringing us computing giants such as Commodore and Nintendo, the granddaddies of comic book events in Marvel's Secret Wars and DC's Crisis on Infinite Earths, and classic movies from Spielberg, Lucas, and one Mr. Richard Donner, who directed the first Superman movie, and would go on to direct the Lethal Weapon series. And we may yet get to that! For now though, let us concentrate on today's subject, the Goonies. Coming to us from the heady days of 1985, the Goonies is a classic boy's own adventure. A bunch of mischievous lads get more than they bargained for when a spot of cave exploring turns into a duel of wits with a family of crooks. So, me buckos, sharpen your blades and prepare for choppy waters as we meet the Goonies. Meet Mikey Walsh, an ordinary kid spending an ordinary weekend in his ordinary home in an ordinary coastal town. And his not-so-ordinary friend. Mouth, Chunk, Data, and Big Brother Brandon. On a rampage through the attic, our pint-sized protagonists procure a piratey periodical. Gotta love alliteration. And we learn the legend of One-Eyed Willy. And no, I'm not making any One-Eyed Willy jokes. Get your minds out of the gutter, this is a family show. So what is the legend of One-Eyed Willy? Well, he was a pirate, and quite a successful one. Until the British Crown became rather interested in one of Willy's acquisitions, battle ensued and the British Armada pushed his ship, the Inferno, into a coastal cove, trapping him there. And there he remained, at least until... Well, stay tuned to find that out. This legendary treasure would be just the thing to buy out the country club and save the Goonies from being split up. And so, our heroes incapacitate their chaperone and abscond. But it isn't long before Brandon's in pursuit. Meanwhile, our boys discover the Fratelli family hiding out at a disused diner. Which goes as well as you'd expect. Oh, mouth, mouth, mouth. You really, really can't control it, can you? Feigning a bathroom break, Mikey discovers Sloth, and after an intervention by Brandon, a speech by Mikey, and a fortunate excursion removing the Fratellis, the boys, and a couple of girls, make their way inside. And while some of their discoveries within are welcome, others are not. You know, the kids! But when the Fratellis return, the Goonies escape through the fireplace. Except for Chunk. <laughs> Reminds me of one of my earliest missions. See, I was off on a mountain top somewhere. Send a donation over to my Kofi. Maybe I'll tell you the whole tale. Chunk looks for help on the roadside, but oh dear! Describe all three of them. In the caves. The remaining Goonies discover the last adventurer to seek One-Eyed Willy's treasure, and Brandon's curiosity leads to a running with a cloud of bats, which alerts the Fratellis, who stick Chunk in with Sloth! Luckily for Chunk, Sloth is a mild-mannered monster. And these two outcasts bond over a chocolate bar. Ah, touching. But they'll have their part to play yet. The group chants upon a wishing well and an attempt to get help. But Mikey isn't convinced, and delivers another speech. Which we're skipping, because YouTube. Somebody should get on this before it's too late. And so, the stage is set for our finale. Our heroes discover One-Eyed Willy's ship, and One-Eyed Willy himself. One-Eyed Willy, so called because one of his eye sockets is completely healed up. And so our heroes load up on riches. But the Fratellis have finally caught up! But just when everything looks its worst, Chunk and his new best friend swing to the rescue. And Sloth cleans house. 
And as one last booby trap is triggered, Sloth makes the save. And so our movie ends with everything wrapping up nicely. The Fratellis are rearrested, the treasure is more than enough to buy out the country club, and Sloth finds a new family. And one final surprise. So that was The Goonies. And you know something? I'm gonna put this into the House of Love. This movie is another significant part of my childhood, and even re-watching it now, it still holds up to my adult eyes. Sure, it's not cerebral, and it does have its slower moments and its overly sentimental moments, but the movie more than makes up for it with action, suspense, and a rip-roaring thrill ride that's scarcely been beat. This is a family movie, and while for some movies that's damning with faint praise, The Goonies is a highlight of the genre. Indeed, it's often regarded as one of the top ten family movies of all time. Forgive me for gushing, but this is a classic. At least in my opinion. So then, shipmates, thank ye for watching, and join me next week for another adventure. Now on your way with ye.